Yes, I am in my workout tank. And part of that is just to prove to you that I did follow through with one of my New Year's resolutions, at least for one day. The other New Year's resolution is to list stuff faster. And for me, that means starting with hauling it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any New Year's resolutions, but I know you all are here for a haul, so stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on various reselling platforms and lately I've had the opportunity to get inventory from buying out other resellers inventory and you know it's come up a couple times for various reasons one was because a friend of mine was moving out of town the other situation was because this particular reseller wanted to be able to spend more time with her parents and so I was able to buy their inventory off of them at a really low cost and I did part one of this particular buyout um, a couple of videos ago and I'll make sure to link that right here and a few of you left comments you know saying things like wow you got stuff much better than what you would get in those thread or mystery boxes you are absolutely right and I paid a lot less per item as well so it's been a really great experience and in part two of the inventory buyout haul that I'm going to be doing for you today we are going to be looking at some shoes um, some kind of like miscellaneous stuff in this box and then a lot of men's and some kids stuff so just to give you a preview of what we have left to haul I'm going to try to breeze through things as quickly as I can and I'm going to try to share with you as well how much I think things can get priced for. So if you enjoy a good reseller haul, make sure to hit that thumbs up sign, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's dig into it. So let's start with the shoes. There weren't too many. I could tell that she wasn't a huge fan of selling shoes perhaps, um, which is fine because I am overrun with shoes. We've got too many at our house. But this is a pair of flip-flops by the brand Fit Flop, which is a great brand. It's done pretty well for me. What I will say is that the value of this brand has gone down a little bit for me. Um, and not only that, these particular flip-flops are a little bit worn. So you can see on the front, there are some like marks and whatnot. And then this strap here, you can see there is a little bit of wear, some damage to that. So all in all, I feel like probably I can maybe get like 20-ish, 15 to 20 dollars on these. These are in a size eight. I do think that they'll still sell, you know, given the fact that this brand really does have quite a following. I just don't think that it'll sell for that much. Um, the next thing in this haul is this pair of Keens. I feel like I find these Keens so much where I live. Let me know if you see these Keens where you live. And every time I snatch them up because they're really, really great shoes. Um, I think these are kids ones or they might be women's. Let's see. Ugh. The annoying thing about Keen, and this is surely the case with these, the annoying thing is that they have the size in a little sticker like right there, and you can see there is no sticker um, because it falls off so easily. And if that sticker falls off, you're just kind of screwed. You don't know what size you have, and I don't know what size these are. I, you guys, here's a little bit of trivia about me. I wear like a kid size too. I feel like this could be that, I don't know. But anyway, I'll have to figure out what the size of these are and then I think I can still sell them if they're kids for like 25 to 35. This is a pair of patent leather nine west block heels, just like very classic pumps. I really like the color on these. They're like a very light grayish blue. They are by the brand Nine West. And one nice thing about Nine West is if you look inside where they have like the size and the materials information, they'll tell you the style name of the shoe itself so that you can look up comps, you can look up pictures. Um, so these are called the Sheila. Sheila is horribly misspelled. It's like S-C-H-E-I-L-A. But Nine West can call their shoes whatever they want. So there you go. And these are in a size 10. Probably list these for $25 to $35. Nine West West, you know, I feel like I don't pick it up very often, but whenever I have it, it actually sells pretty quickly. So maybe I should pick it up more often. I don't know. Let me know how Nine West does for you if you pick it up. This is a pair of sandals by Universal Thread. They're just like slip on kind of Dior say sandals, I guess you could call them. Kind of like fisherman's woven detail up on top. Universal Thread is a brand sold at Target. 
These were clearance down to $17.49. They had retailed for $24.99. So these didn't retail for a ton to begin with. They're in a size nine and a half. And honestly, I will probably list them for like $15 to $20 and just see what happens. They're in a good size. Clearly this is not really the season, but they're pretty cute. I know some people have a lot of luck selling brands like Universal Thread. And I have sold a few things here and there. They obviously just are not gonna command that much money. Okay, so there is one pair of shoes kind of bagged up a little bit. Um, I don't remember what the brand is. Okay, so this is the brand Mix Number no. 6. And they're very interesting because they have kind of this suede exterior, but then they also have this like, you see that, this clear plastic part, which I feel like it's supposed to make... I just checked to see if like it was an insert to keep the shape of the shoe. They're part of the shoe. So it's, I think, meant to give a much more severe and like sophisticated look to the shoe, but you get more support with this plastic. I don't get it, but nice stiletto heel. Um, I'm looking for a size. I don't see one, which is a little bit problematic, but we'll figure it out. So I don't know very much about this shoe brand. I'll look it up and let you know if I find out anything, but very interesting. I probably would have passed on those where I just at a thrift store by myself. So hopefully I've just learned about a great Bolo brand. This is a pair of sandals that are very similar to Keen's. It's like that style. I want to say they're Jambu. It says J-41. Oh, and the bottom says Jeep Engineered Traction Sole. So that seems, that seems really intense. Um, they are weatherproof, it says, no, they're waterproof, it says. Maybe the brand is J-41. I feel like I've seen this before. I don't remember if they're worth a whole lot. I'll let you know. Um, these are in a size 10 as well. If I had to guess, I'd say I could probably list these for around $25 to $35. So there are those. This is a pair of just kind of like slip-on sandals. Um, they've got a lot of straps with like Velcro. Um, the brand is Finn Comfort. These were made in Germany. These are similar to, and of course now I'm drawing a blank. I want to say like Riker, Riker. I mean, there's a few kind of comfort brand shoes that come from Europe, come from places like Germany and whatnot. And this is um, kind of in that same vein. And these can do pretty well. So these are a European size 37. And yeah, I mean, I if I had to guess, I would assume I could probably list these for 40 to $50 and do pretty well with them. So we'll see how those do. A lot of summery shoes, which is fine. This is a pair of Dansko sneakers, which I don't know if I've ever seen. So you can see on the bottom, it says Dansko and they have very similar to Keen's again, kind of the bungee tie, which is nice. You don't have to sit there and like tie your shoelaces, but you can just, whoop, you know, and you've got a nice tight fit. These are in a size 39. They're in really great condition. I don't know how much I can price these for. I want to say, 35 to 50 dollars but i mean there's a little bit of wear on the exterior but overall they're in really good shape so those are pretty cool um the last pair of shoes i believe in this haul are these north face boots again with a suede exterior but they have like this ribbed knit kind of sock um fold over <laughs> detail there is some pilling as you can see on that part, I just have to take a sweater shaver to it and I can clean that up quite a bit. Um, but yeah, these are the North Face. It says Ice Pick on the sole. I don't really know what that means. They have Prima Loft 200 gram insulation, so they definitely are gonna keep your feet pretty warm and they're in a women's size seven and a half. So um, I need to get these listed straight away because it is the season to be listing this kind of stuff. I would assume 35 to $50 on these. So those are all of the shoes. Let's get into this box and then we'll get into the rest of the clothes. So there's kind of a hodgepodge of stuff in here. And one of the cool things about the person that I received this inventory from, there is a pop-up kids consignment store. I know you guys have heard me talk about Divine Consign, which is the women's pop-up consignment store that happens in my town twice a year. But there's also a pop-up kids consignment sale that happens twice a year. It's called One Week Boutique, and just like Divine Consign, 
sign. I believe it happens nationwide, not just where I live. I know um, some other resellers will talk about a kid's consignment sale called Just Between Friends, something like that. So this is similar to that. And she used to run the one in our town, which is really cool. And there are some things that I see have the little labels that the consigners have to print out. They have to like price their items, print out these labels, you know, tag all their clothes. Um, and so some of these things I can tell are from her time from running that. So there are, for example, these Zebi muslin burr cloths. I don't even, you know, I've not had newborns for so long that I don't know what that brand is. I don't know if it's like super good, but I know muslin in general is really good. So you can see where it says Zebi baby. Um, I'll look them up and maybe they're worth something. I'm sure if anything, I can at least sell these locally through Facebook marketplace, but I bet even on places like Mercari, Kid is in, these things will sell. So these are minky bibs with snaps. Again, I don't really know what minky bibs are, but there you go. Uh, they look like they'll be really soft. Um, let's see, some more bibs. These are just animal bibs. These kind of look like they're maybe just carters or something like that. And then these are cow print burp cloths, argyle, etc. So just a bunch of burp cloths. Again, I think I can just list them locally and make a few bucks off of them. There were also, <laughs> I, I don't have a dog, but I assume, I assume this is for a dog. Like I, I don't know. I, I had a dog when I was younger, so I know, you know, how crazy people can be about their dogs. Um, I don't think this is for a baby. I don't think it's for a human. I don't, yeah. So it is by Top Paw. There you go. And it is from 2019 and it's in a size extra large, two-tone pink fleece. So look at that. It's got like style information and stuff on it. Um, I have never listed animal clothes before. I have listed some animal products, I believe, but there's that. And then there's another one here. This is like a little puffer vest for a dog so there are those by the way if you see anything that you like in this haul like these dog things you can feel free to dm me on instagram that's probably the fastest way to get a hold of me and i will put my information right here and that way we can work out a deal that works out better for both of us rather than going through one of the reselling platforms this is okay i we never use these i want to say it's called a puddle oh my no this is a pet fest this is for a dog. This is a Stearns pet vest. I thought this was like a human being puddle, puddle jumper. Is that what it's called? I don't know. My kids have never used them. Um, but I guess you put it on a dog. Okay. So I got lots of dog things. I believe these are just the bottoms to swimsuits. I have a hard time moving swimsuits if I don't have both pieces. So to be honest, I will probably just donate this. Um, this is Victoria's Secret size large. So, you know, the brand is pretty good, but I don't know the chances of these selling on their own. Ish, yeah, maybe I, I could make like $10 ish, but I don't know if that's really worth my time. This is a Game of Thrones <laughs> scarf. I should list this ASAP as well because you know, it's scarf season right now. Um, I have not ever watched Game of Thrones. I'm not really into like the gore and the fighting and the, I don't know. And I don't like shows where you have to like really pay attention to know what's going on. I'm, yeah, I don't know. That's just not my thing. But it says Game of Thrones right here on the tag and it says HBO and all that kind of stuff. It's just polyester. So probably I can make like 10 $15 if I'm lucky on this, but it'll be so easy to photograph and list. So I'll do it. This is a great piece. This is definitely a little bit more exciting to me than the Game of Thrones. This is a Lululemon vinyasa scarf, but not only is it a vinyasa scarf, which is like this big funnel, uh, what is it called? Uh, oh my gosh, I haven't worn one of these in so long. You know, the like there's no beginning or end to it oh my gosh what is that kind of scarf called i i cannot infinity scarf it says it on the tag because this is new with tags you see you see this is kind of cool they show you like three different ways that you could wear it right away my mind goes to like this would be great if you are breastfeeding um i breastfed both of my babies and something like this would honestly be a godsend for nursing moms i feel like but it's got like snap buttons on this side yeah i don't know how much something like this goes for but let's see 
the tag was ripped off, but yeah, I mean, I'm assuming I can probably list this for at the very least $25, if not more. And it's new with tags, so hopefully that goes quickly. Um, we've got just like some fabric. I don't have a lot of experience selling fabric, so I don't really know what to do with this, but I'm assuming Mercari and eBay would be the best places to list that kind of stuff. This is like baby crib, like crib sheets and a bed sheet um, in like this really cute, you can see there's like little butterflies and little ladybugs and things of that nature. So there's that plus it's like I said, crib sheet. Um, these are great brands and I know we had a couple of these with my own kids. These, this says, um, these are little blankets like muslin blankets by Aiden and Anais. This is a pretty expensive brand. I mean, blankets, like these really thin muslin blankets, a pack of two will cost you like 30, 40, $50 retail. I don't remember. Again, it's been a while since I've had little kids, but there's a pack of one with like a little lion two with a little giraffe, three with a little butterfly, and four with turtles. So I feel like I could lot these together and maybe list them for, I don't even know, I'm not even gonna throw out a number because it's just, it's been too long. So I'll do some research, but yeah, I think those will do pretty well. Um, this is pretty cool. It's like a blanket for Indiana University. So this is really great, I think, for anyone who is like an alum or attends Indiana, obviously. Um, you could like put this on your sofa. You could obviously put it on your bed. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool piece. We live right next door to Indiana. This is by MV Sport. Um, so I will see Indiana stuff here from time to time. Obviously, most of the collegiate stuff that I see in my area is for the U of I, Illinois, but every now and then we get some Indiana stuff too. There is this hat, <laughs> and this is actually by a really great brand. The brand is Outdoor Research. If you ever see OR, that's what that stands for. It is so expensive retail, like insanely expensive. This is a Palapa Platter hat, and it is in a size medium, and this, this is what should be my uh, thumbnail picture. I imagine this is really great for people who are hiking, gardening, all that sort of thing. I don't know how to price this, but I have it. I will list it. It'll be great. This is a purse. I want to say by like the sack. Oh, the brand is Island. <laughs> Designs by Harry Hazlitt. I don't know what any of that means, but it really reminds me of that brand, The Sack. You know what I'm talking about? It's cute though. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. Crochet knit. I mean, it's really beautiful. And then there's this loop that comes over and you loop it over the big knot, big circle. And that's how you kind of close it, but pretty cute. Um, this is a hat for the NHL. I want to say the Red Wings because there was that onesie in here too. So she must be a Red Wings fan. I believe people in the comments from the last video where I had a Red Wings onesie, I believe people were saying that they're from Michigan, I want to say. So, um, and you know, hats have been selling for me really quickly. I've been listing hats that have flaws even and they'll sell really fast. So um, I'm going to try to get that listed pretty quickly. This is another really cool hat. Um, Maybe this is a better thumbnail picture. We'll see. But this was made in Australia. That's all I know about it. I don't see like an actual tag, but it's like suede. It's got this braided belt situation around the rim. It's got these two horses. So at the very least, maybe I can do a, like a Google lens search on that. And then it's got this to go under your neck so that your hat doesn't fly away. If it's really windy outside, sorry, someone keeps texting me. 
Okay, I just found out some really cool news <laughs> about a friend of mine. So I was texting because holy cow. Okay, this is a USA, what is this called? This is not camo print. This is the real tree print, I want to say. Um, but it says USA. It's got the mesh back and it's adjustable. $15, I don't know. This is another hat similar to that Australian one, but this is called the Airflow Tilly Hat, the finest in all the world. And it looks like she paid 15 bucks for this somewhere, maybe at like a garage sale or something. So I'm thinking this is worth a pretty good amount. I'm gonna do some research and let you guys know. It's interesting. I'm gonna learn a lot about hats after <laughs> listing all this stuff. Um, I just, I don't even know. I, I really don't craftsmen do let me show off my ignorance here a little bit do like construction work I, I don't know. i'm just i'm gonna stop while i'm ahead i'm not ahead but i'm just gonna stop all right next i don't know very much about jewelry um but there was some jewelry in here so i guess the brand is rustic cuff and it's is a cuff and it's kind of rustic. <laughs> so it's like this hammered silver cuff, if you will. I mean, that's kind of cool. There's like that little, yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I'll do some research. I'll let you know. I just was given this stuff and I will do what I can with it. And then there's just all this stuff. I don't know the brands of any of them. Um, at first I was like super excited because I thought maybe it was like Tory Burch, but that's not the Tory Burch logo. Um, it does say, oh, these are all rustic cuffs. So again, I just need to, you know, do a little bit of research. I mean, they're pretty cool. They're not necessarily jewelry pieces that I would wear, but that's also because I don't really wear jewelry anymore. Like this is my jewelry is my ponytail holder. Um, I think these are the same brand because again, it's got that same little logo, that little medallion. So we'll see how those do. Hopefully those are worth like $250 each. And then there was this little, <laughs> little smiley face emoji bowl. It says USA on the bottom. Um, and that's what these were in. So cool. I like it. Um, there were some random like remotes and a Logitech looks like it's like a phone base. Um, and I don't, okay, let's just see. Let's just see what's going on. I mean, I love a good excuse to have to learn about hard goods. I'm gonna assume, yes, okay. So it goes like this, and this is the plug for it. I don't know how much something like this goes for, but this is the Logitech LLG7. Yeah, it's been so long since I've had a landline, and there's a little sticker on here that says $20 works. I just have to see what it's actually worth. I don't know if that's what she had it priced at. I don't know if she got it for that much. I don't know. This is a little pocket radio from Radio Shack. It takes AA batteries. It's got AM and FM frequencies. This is obviously something that we'll probably sell on eBay. Oh, when's the last time you saw one of these guys? Little antenna. Um, maybe on Mercari, but yeah. I mean, again, it's a good excuse for me to try out hard goods. There's a bunch of these little toys. You know, you can put them on like train tables and stuff. Um, they're Melissa and Doug. It's a great brand. So I think those will do well again on like Facebook Marketplace, maybe even on eBay, although shipping those will be kind of annoying. There are these wooden blocks, Facebook Marketplace. There is this OtterBox for a Samsung Galaxy S5. Anne Marie, are you watching this? <laughs> if, you want, if you want this, if you have that phone, this is for you. Um, if any of you have this kind of cell phone and you need a phone case, you leave a comment down below and we'll, we'll get this to you for free, okay? Um, there are these cool socks. This says, ooh, yeah, it's from Bing's. Never heard of Bing's, I don't know what that is. And it's just a possum and it says, awesome possum. That's actually pretty funny. I'll probably just try to list that. Um, some more, oh, okay. Mm, oh, so this is a pair of nice Kate Spade pearl earrings. It's like, they're nice. They retail for $32. They're, they're not real pearl. There's no way for $32. Pearl gumdrop studs. 
Are you real though? Okay, I don't know. But um, there's that, and they're in the little baggie. There is a matching plate. In case you were worried, in case you were wondering, there's a matching plate. So there's that. There's a couple more jewelry pieces. Um, there's this. I don't know what this is. There's nothing on here that tells me who made it. I'm, I'm really bad with jewelry. And then there's this. Again, I don't know anything. Hopefully Google Lens knows all the things because I know none of the things. So there's that. I will learn about what this is and hopefully make a little sale out of it. So let's see, there's just a couple more things in here. This is so cool. This is a Walkman, a Sony Walkman, but it's like, I don't, it's not like a, well, okay. When I think of Walkman, isn't that the one where you put like the tape cassette in? So this is just like a radio one. This just um, has TV, weather, FM, AM. It's got 30 presets. I don't know, it's pretty cool. You can like clip it onto your pants <laughs> as you're walking around. It's pretty cool, so we'll see. $8 on this, it's got some cool little headphones. Whew. The amount that technology has changed, it's really, it's really shocking. Here is another Otter box. I don't know what kind of phone this is for. I don't know if it'll say on the inside. Yeah, so if you just like to collect OtterBox phone cases and you just need another one in your life, I got you. You can have this one. Just let me know in the comments. And then I got this Studio by Belkin micro USB to USB cable. These are just always nice to have extras of, so I'll probably just keep that. That's everything that was in this box, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything back in the box, and then I'll come back to you with some clothes. So hold up. All right, so moving on to the clothes. You guys, I'm very distracted because there's just some big news, like good news for a friend of mine. So, okay, um, here is some bottoms. I think these are all shorts and these are all men's shorts. So this is a pair of Columbia Cargo. Um, yeah, cargo shorts. You can see a cargo pocket there. And then here there's like a zippered pocket. Um, they're very lightweight. They have a cool little adjustable belt built in. No worries if you don't have the ability to find a belt. This has them already. And this is in a size 38 with a 10 inch inseam. So there's those. Um, probably list those for like 20 to 25. This is another pair of black shorts. These are by Nike. They are in a size large. I, these are some trunks. Okay, so you can see there's the lining. Um, they're very interesting. So they've got the elastic waist. The back has this cool little like Velcro pocket. Yeah, so you can put stuff in there. There's, it's a little bit flawed in that, I think because this is so hard to open, the Velcros kind of come attached from the swim trunks themselves. Um, I like that little Nike logo though, inside of the circle. I mean, this feels old. I don't know, like it feels vintage. It's got pockets, so we'll see how that does. Um, probably I can list that for around 25. These are a pair of denim cutoff shorts. You know, we're in the Midwest. These are by Levi's and these are in a size 34. So there you go. You guys, my parents are in town and they're the 5'11s. Um, my parents will always just kind of go through all of my inventory and just kind of decide what they want to take home with them. And my dad is a size 34. I wonder if he <laughs> would wear these. I don't, I don't think he could pull them off. He'd be like, why? Why are there like rips and why are, why is all this stuff going on? Like he would just be really confused. Um, these are by Newport Blue. I've never sold this brand before in my life, but again, these are swim trunks. These look a lot more like swim trunks to me than those Nike ones. They're like this Hawaiian print or like tropical print. Um, they've got the drawstring. And these are in a size large as well. So if you wear a size large and you needed some swim trunks, I got you. All right, these are a pair of Land's End size 38 pants. And you just like wear these to work. They're cuffed at the bottom. 
All right, probably list these for $25. I will probably sit on these for quite some time because they're definitely a bit older of a style. But that's okay, they'll sell eventually. This I think is the same exact thing. Yeah, Land's End, this is the traditional fit in a size 38. These have some pleating on the front. These are also cuffed on the bottom. Probably just go ahead and list these for 25. Ooh, hold up, hold up. Okay, so there's that. Oh, this is such an interesting color. So these are Land's End traditional fit pants in a size 40, but look at that green. I, I would really like it if someone showed up to work in these green pants. This is a great green. Okay. This is a pair of shorts by the brand Savain. So I hauled kind of like an orange pair in the last video and my dad claimed those. These are in a size 42. These are cargo shorts as well. Probably list these for around 20 to 25. This is a pair of Wrangler pants in a size 42 by 30 in a regular fit. Um, Wrangler jeans I have been selling for anywhere between like, I don't know, I want to say like 18 to $30. I know Wranglers are kind of making a comeback. Like they were being sold again at like Urban Outfitters and stuff, but I don't know. I can't figure out what the good Wrangler is versus like just the old Wrangler that nobody cares about. If it's really cheap, I pick it up or if it's like at the bins or something and if I get it for free, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and list those. All right, let's move on to another pile. This might be all kids or there are some kids and we're going to start with this crazy thing. I'm pretty sure this is vintage. Like, look at how fun this is. Holy cow. What a fun piece. I wish my daughter were this little so she could wear this. This is a size 3T. It's by the brand Driplets by Whippet Kids. I've never heard of any of this, but this is amazing. Oh my God, look at the lining. Holy cow. I don't know how much something like this goes for, but it is it is seriously cool. So um, yeah, we'll see. we'll see what I do with that, but super ridiculously excited about that one. This is a Captain America little hoodie. Um, it's got like a fleece lining or like a, more like a Sherpa, like a faux Sherpa lining. Um, it's in a size 3T. This is Civil War Captain America, 100% polyester. So cute. I mean, probably only worth like $10, $15 resale, but still really cute. This is Burton, which is, you know, like that snowboarding company. So just like a casual t-shirt. This reminds me of Sheldon. Always, always. <laughs> you know, when you've got the long sleeve underneath the short sleeve. My mom, we were talking about that show for some reason. And she's like, why does that guy always wear the shirt on top of the shirt? And I was like, because it's Sheldon. Like it wouldn't be Sheldon without that. Um, I can't tell what size this is because that part kind of rubbed off. But I will just take measurements and let you know. This is... MTX Racing. I don't, I don't know this world. I, I don't know. Racing? Is this like NASCAR? I, I don't know, but I got that. I don't know, but um, little size large. Large for kids, 14 to 16. I think this is another Affliction shirt. Yes. So I don't know why this is in the kids pile, but it's this blue Henley shirt, and then on the back, it says Affliction. By the way, I had another Affliction shirt in my last haul, and one of you said that a lot of the Affliction shirts are reversible, like you can, you know, pull it inside out, and it's a whole other shirt, and sure enough, that shirt that I had in the last video was a reversible shirt, so that was kind of cool to learn because I had no idea. This is by Archer Affliction, so again, this is an Affliction shirt. This is kind of like a waffle knit shirt like very like mini waffle knit shirt oh man i yeah these shirts i don't really get either but i know there's a following right so that's why i will always sell things that can make me money even if i personally don't get the aesthetic um i think this is some more affliction this is in a size medium 
This is a little bit more tame. So that's what that looks like. I have no idea how to price these. I still haven't really done research on it yet. I would guess 18 to $25. This is Illinois basketball. Again, we are in Illini Nation. And I, from what I gather, I think the Illinois men's basketball team right now is doing pretty well. So maybe that'll actually fetch something. This is a Fender graphic t-shirt. It does have some cracking in the screen print, but um, I think that's okay. This is a size large. It's kind of cool. Probably 15 to 20 bucks on that one. This is Land's End. This is a men's size small. This is very Illini. Our colors are orange and blue. So I'm not surprised that she has this shirt. But as far as resale goes, it's not going to resell for a ton. This is a Nike Pro Combat dry fit fitted shirt. Nike Pro Combat actually can do pretty well and sell pretty fast. And I mean, I, I probably will still only list this for around like 25, but hopefully it'll be a quick flip. And this is in a larger size too. This isn't a 3XL, so actually, oh well, yeah, I'll probably still list it for around 25. I have to look at comps, but that's what my gut is telling me. So this is a little bit of a controversy. So this is again an Illini shirt. And if you've been following the news about our school, which I don't know why you would, but our mascot used to be the chief, which if you look at the mascot, you can probably figure out why there were a lot of people that had an issue with it. And so um, I believe this is no longer our mascot. So there is actually kind of a following for anything with the chief on it because of the fact that when people came to school here before, that was their mascot. They have fond memories of going to games and, um, you know, there was like a whole thing with like someone who would dress up as the chief and there's like a chant and it was all kinds of, yeah. So there is a following, um, I don't know. So that's what that is. Um, so that's, that's a little bit of history for you regarding the college that I went to. But this is Nike team. I think it says size large. I feel like an old woman when I'm like, what's the size? So there's that one. And then there's another one with the chief on it. And it literally says chief. So this one is a size extra large. Um, it doesn't guarantee that it's vintage either because literally the mascot only changed like less than a decade ago. <laughs> like it hasn't been that long. Um, this is Marvel. This is, looks like it's all the guys, the whole gang's here. So there's that graphic t-shirt. This is in a size medium, I believe. I don't know, 15 to $20 on that one. Speaking of Sheldon, you guys, my husband and I have been watching a lot of Big Bang lately because <laughs> he's just been, um, recording the episodes on YouTube TV. Ugh, I love him so much. It says Bazinga. It really is such a great show. Let me know in the comments below if you watch Big Bang 2. That is a size large. This is the brand Nobility. I don't know what that is, but I will look it up. It feels interesting. It says Miami. Okay, back is very, very plain. Okay, this is the guys from that show um the duck the duck show what and it doesn't say it because it's just printed on a delta t-shirt quack oh duck dynasty it says it right down there so yeah this is i i never watched this show but i'm sure people have i'm sure there's a following don't know what i could get for that this is by the brand free planet for some reason i feel like this is sold at urban outfitters it's just a very basic pullover with like a little bit of a v-neck and a little pocket on the front it's not going to be worth that much this says something about ducks again young oh bucks <laughs> young bucks i don't know what that is you guys i just i don't know anything bullet bullet club yikes what's happening here not quite sure this is, there's no size or anything. There's no tag. Whoa, this is a little bit scary of a shirt. I don't know. There's a, um, there's such a funny line in a Big Bang episode. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop by Pottery Barn on the way to work. I bought these Star Wars sheets, but they turned out to be much too stimulating to be compatible with a good night's sleep. 
I don't like the way Darth Vader stares at me. And I feel like that's how I would feel about that shirt. Like, I just would feel too stimulated. Like, I just, like, I would just feel too, like, on edge. Every time I looked down, I'd be like, oh, like, it would just take me by surprise. It would alarm me a little bit. Um, again, with Illinois, um, this says Illini football. From what I know, our football team hasn't been good in a pretty long time, so this one might be a bit harder of a sell, but all of the Illini stuff, hopefully I can sell locally on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, next pile. This is a short pile. Um, okay, a lot of this is like golf stuff, so I'm going to go through it really fast, but this is a Nike golf polo in like a yellow with a little thin stripe pattern. Um, this is in a size large, probably set for like 20 to 25. This is Walter Hagen. I have seen like the Lady Hagen, so I'm just assuming this is like the men's version of that. I don't think this is worth a whole lot. This has hydro dry technology. It's in a size extra large, just basic golf stuff. Um, I don't, I, I would assume 15 to 15 to something. This is another Nike Golf. Um, I think this is a little bit older of a style, but this is in a size extra large as well. Probably list that for around 20. The good news is golf stuff does sell pretty well. It's just that there's a lot of it, I feel like, listed. Um, another Walter Hagen. I'm not even going to open this up, but it's just a golf polo. Gray and white stripes. Another Walter Hagen. Extra large. I don't, what is this color? I, I don't know in this color. This is uh, Nike Golf in a size. <laughs> okay, I have to open this up because this one is, I, I mean, look at that color and like the sheen. I feel like this is, it reminds me of like 70s disco wear or something for, for some reason. Um, but it's golf and it's a size medium on that one. This one is Polo by Ralph Lauren. This is in a size small. I'll open this up for you. This is a long sleeve polo shirt. I do pretty well with this kind of stuff. Um, this will probably sell around that 20 to $25 mark. This is PGA Tour again in just like a bright purple. This one is in a size extra large. It's got air flux. Um, this one is Jack Nicklaus. I think there's an S at the end. Mm, I don't know anything but just a blue striped polo, another golf polo. This is for the Chicago Bears. Um, so it's like a short sleeve polo. And the funny thing is the Bears have the same color, what is it? Color, team colors, that's what I'm looking for, as U of I. So there's a little crossover there. This is Lands and Traditional Fit Size Large. It is this orange very very soft short sleeve polo shirt so this is a lot of very basic bread and butter here which i'm completely fine with because this is the kind of stuff that's just going to sell for you randomly and just give you sales help you list things and um, i'm totally okay with that this is again nike it is for the u of i and it is this striped polo shirt again this will probably sell locally via Facebook Marketplace, and then another very light blue Nike Golf polo. So all of that stuff, not super exciting, which is why I didn't really open everything up and show it to you. This is Nike Golf as well, but this is interesting. So it's like a pullover. I think that this is vintage, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, it's got the embroidered Nike swoosh on one of the arms. But first of all, look at this tag. Very interesting. And then secondly, this is from Springhouse Golf Club in Opryland, USA. I believe that's Nashville, right? So I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. We'll see how that does. Um, I've been listing over on Depop. Have not made a sale yet, but that's like a depop -y type thing, I feel like. This one is not, I don't think. <laughs> this says, Attitude Meets Fashion. This is by Enza, and I don't know what size this is, but this is also a pullover. You can hear what it sounds like, but it's got like a very small pattern to it. It's got a couple marks. It's interesting. I feel like I could list this too on Depop and obviously everywhere else that I've been 
listing, but interesting piece. I'm cool with that. This is a very heavy and what feels like vintage, but I don't know, Stephen Berry's size large. And this is an Ohio State hoodie, which is really funny because I feel like Ohio State and U of I are mortal enemies. And so it's like weird to have this in the same vicinity as all this U of I stuff. Okay, let me pull this whole thing closer to me. This is Eddie Bauer. It is a quarter zip pullover. This feels so 90s to me. Like I just remember this kind of stuff being really popular. Maybe it is 90s, but I also don't know that there's a huge following for 90s vintage uh, Eddie Bauer. So that's not super exciting. This is going to be a little bit hard of a sell, I feel like. Um, it's a size 3XL. It's so specific, that's why. So it's the U of I, and it's for like the school of business, which, yeah. But again, maybe it'll sell. And if it does, I'm assuming that it'll sell locally. This is by the brand J Wad Skillcraft Quality Blixo made products. I don't know. Oh, jacket army, medium long, maybe. Oh, okay. So this is like an army jacket. Very cool. Oh, I really like this like chevron detail and it's got a full zip. It's got a very, very faint camo print, if you can see that. This is actually a really cool piece. I feel like her son, I don't know, I'm guessing he was in the army. I, I do think that he played football, college football, and then I think he even played pro football, I wanna say. Um, so I'm thinking a lot of this is maybe even her son's. This is Nike size medium. Okay, I'm gonna guess Pirates. Oh, no. <laughs> Purdue. <laughs> you guys, there's just so many conflicting and competing schools on here. It's hard to keep straight. Um, there's like some elbow reinforcement. I don't know, just like a track jacket. If you couldn't tell, I'm very tired. It's like past midnight. I'm also like very distracted with all the drama, not drama, but gossip, not gossip good news from my friend. There's a lot going on. I'm just trying to get through this. This is a Nike uh, 3XL pullover, quarter zip pullover in like black and white. I think this could do really well. And from what I can tell, it's not for like a specific school or anything like that, which is good. Those are just harder to sell because your audience automatically becomes a little bit smaller. This is Nike dry fit, size small just a gray pullover it's like a space gray it's got a hood and this is the kind of stuff that again you're not going to get like a huge amount for it but it's going to sell it's going to sell pretty quick if you price it right and it's just going to help keep moving things in your stores and in your closet um lions football i i don't know what that is is that like a high school? If so, I don't want to... No. Oh, NFL? Who's the Lions? What? I don't know. I don't know what city that's from or what state. Um, this is new with tags, BKE, size medium. Oh my God, this retail for $100. And oh my, it's like a sleeveless full zip kangaroo pocket hoodie. I don't know that I've ever seen anything like that. So that's very interesting. And then another Illini piece. This is by Pro Player. It's a size extra large. It's got the big eye on the front. Like, is that our mascot now? Just like a giant eye and someone just goes inside of an eye costume and runs around? I don't know. I don't even know. We've got two stacks left and we're going to try to go through them so fast. So this is a J. Crew Factory flannel slim fit shirt in a size extra small. I'm not going to open it up because it's packaged so nicely. I mean, I'll have to to photograph it, but um, I won't open it up right now. But really nice colors on that one. This is by the brand Eli, E-L-Y. This is in a size extra large. I've never heard of this. 
Um, I do feel like it's probably from Buckle. It has a lot of similar qualities to the other buckle pieces that I've showed in that I showed in the other haul video. So it's got some pearl snaps and then it's got like the embroidery. So for those reasons, I'm fairly certain that this is a buckle. Um, this is by the brand Ranch and Town by Panhandle Slim. This is a very interesting top. So I do have another Panhandle Slim top and it's not really getting a lot of traction or anything like that. This is so interesting though. It's in like this gray color and it's got this, oh, you can see the metallic detail. It's got like metallic gold stripes. Again, with the pearl snaps, these are black. There is some wear on the collar, if you can see that, just kind of like, yeah, just like some pilling and whatnot, but that's pretty easy to take care of. Um, again, with kind of the Western pocket flaps, very interesting piece, probably listed around 25. Another one by the same brand. I won't open it up because it's kind of the same. There is a little bit of a stain on this one. So if it's not worth a lot, I'm not gonna worry about even trying to get it out. If it's worth a ton, I might, but this is in a size 16 and a half by 33. And it's just like a lighter gray, but it's got the similar gold metallic stripes throughout. This is a Wrangler shirt and it's Wrangler Western shirt. So I'm wondering if this is vintage. I'll have to do a little bit of research. That's what the tag looks like. Um, and it is Western indeed. I can like hear the pearl snaps kind of hitting against each other. Um, it's very lightweight. It's so interesting. I remember a long time ago, Rally Roots bought like a ton of Western wear pieces. And I feel like there was a lot of Wrangler and stuff um, from someone. And I don't really remember how they did on all that stuff. But here's another Wrangler cowboy cut regular fit shirt. This is in a size extra long, extra long tails. I don't know what that means, but this is what it looks like. It's got the pearl snaps on the back. This is a Lee Extra Long Tails Made in the USA shirt, again with pearl snaps. So I feel like these are all kind of cowboy, western inspired shirts. This is Buckle Black Label Slim Fit, size large. Oh man, there's a lot going on in this shirt. A lot going on. There's that don't know how to price it. It's like, it's ugh, so hard to explain. It's like thicker cause it's kind of quilted. Yeah, I don't know. This is BK standard fit size large, kind of like a purple plaid with the contrast pockets a little bit. Yeah. This is American Eagle. This one will probably list for like 15 to $20. These always take forever to move for me. So I'd rather price them to sell and just get them out. This is in a size small classic fit. This is another American Eagle size medium. This is the prep fit. Just long sleeve. This is good though for people who have to work in like an office or something like that. This is another American Eagle. This is in the seriously soft classic fit in a size small. I don't know if I would call this serious. Actually, it's pretty soft. I don't know if it's seriously soft, but it is soft. So there's that one. This is Express, I knew right away. Extra slim, size small. It's this beautiful floral print shirt. Um, probably price that again for like 15 to 20 bucks. This is J. Crew size medium, the classic fit. Si I already said size, size medium. Blue plaid button down. Y'all know that these button downs are like the bane of my existence. So <laughs> if I don't look excited, it's because I'm already thinking in my head, like, oh my God, like all of these have to get steamed. And then yeah, it's just a whole thing. However, my parents, like I said, are in town and they've been steaming for me, which has been so wonderful. So I'm looking at my rack of clothes that needs to get steamed and there's nothing on it right now because they're amazing. This is, I want to say this is pronounced Anichi, but I'm probably wrong. This is in a size large and it is a blue button up shirt. 
and I don't know how much it's worth. So we've got one pile left. Let's do this. I think these are more like button up type shirts. Oh, I'm just knocking things over. Okay. This is foundry supply size, large, tall. And I do think that when things are like in a tall length, they do tend to sell faster for me. One, because I think they're just like harder to find. And because two, there's just some tall people in the world. I don't know. This is Woolrich. This is a men's size large. Woolrich is a great brand, um, but I have had like kind of a hard time moving my Woolrich pieces. So I don't know, but there's that. Oh man, it looks crazy over here. This is by the brand Redhead. This is in a size large. I've never heard of this brand before. It is that uh, like a, I, I don't know what that animal is. Or no, maybe it's not an animal. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe it's like a piece of land. I don't know. I don't know what that is. There's just so much that I don't know when it comes to all this stuff in this haul. This is a short sleeve button down shirt that I know nothing about. This is Carhartt. This is a size small. There were a lot of Carhartt pieces in the last haul as well. Just a short sleeve button down shirt. This is another Carhartt size small. I will not open it up because it's the same thing. But in red, this is Pele Pele, Mark Buchanan, size extra, extra large. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what any of that is. So here's what the shirt looks like. And then on the back, it has this P and P patch sewn on. I'm assuming for Pele Pele. I don't know what that is, but I will do some research. This is LL Bean. This is in a size extra large. And I believe, actually, I think this is a women's shirt because I don't think this is big enough to be a men's extra large, but I'm pretty sure it's like a fishing shirt because it's got like the venting in the back. And usually you see that in fishing shirts. And then it's got like a Velcro strap with more of that mesh material inside. This is by the brand Columbia. And oh, wow, I've never seen this happen before. Look at the tag. I feel like maybe someone took an iron to it. Um, so I'll have to figure out the size, but it is a button up shirt by Columbia. I would guess in at least an extra large, if not double XL or even triple XL. This is Carhartt. I'm not seeing a size. This is also a very different tag than I'm used to seeing. It says rugged outdoor wear Carhartt. Like I know it's Carhartt, but I've never seen that tag before. Just another button down Carhartt shirt. We're almost done. We're almost done. This is the North Face. This is a size medium. And it's like this yellow and brown button up shirt. This is Ben Sherman, which is a pretty decent brand. Size medium. You can find it a lot though at like TJ Maxx and stuff. Um, it's like a denim shirt again with the pearl snap detail and that pearl snap de detail goes all the way up the front too i really like the lining well the lining is really just right here it doesn't continue all throughout the shirt but it's like a very heavy duty shirt and i like this kind of like contrast trim there cute 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 probably list that one for around 20. um here's the last bunch oof Okay, let's see what we got. This is LL Bean size, large, tall. Again, with the fishing shirt, you can tell because it's got the vented back and pockets. This is by Jaguar. This is a size extra large. That's a car, right? This just, it feels so like kind of stiff but car enthusiasts I'm sure will like this and again with the pearl snaps what I need to happen is I need to find someone who's like I only wear pearl snap shirts and they need to just find my closet or my ebay store this is by the brand John Blair this is it doesn't have a size this looks and feels very vintage to me 
it's very interesting. It's this green shirt. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I really don't. This is Worldwide Sportsman, size extra large tall. Pretty sure this has to do with fishing because look and look. So another fishing shirt. Um, and these, you know, like fishing shirts can do pretty decently, especially because um, I'm sure they're pretty expensive retail and no one wants to spend retail prices. This is Carhartt size 2XL. It is kind of this olive green button down work shirt. So there is that. These piles next to me, they're huge. This is Land's End Extra Large Tall, just a long sleeve blue plaid button down shirt. I do really like that so many of these are in that taller length because I think that's going to help the, you know, a lot of these pieces sell. And then finally, this is LL Bean size medium regular, again, in kind of like a blue plaid. And that's all she wrote. That was a lot to get through. Let me show you what this pile looks like right now. Like, holy mole. That is a lot of stuff to process, but um, the goal is to get through as much of this stuff as I can before I start school in a couple days. Um, we've been steaming and photographing and listing like crazy over here because I've got big goals for 2022. Let me know what some of your goals are. Um, I did hit my goal of making at least $30,000 in profits in the year 2021 from reselling. Um, I don't really know what my goal is yet. I basically just added $5,000 to my goal from 2020, but I kind of want to shoot for like 40 grand. We'll see what happens. I'm still thinking about my goals for 2022, but I know I want to at least see if I can make a little bit more and just kind of push myself to stay really consistent with listing and whatnot. So that's everything that I got in this buyout. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know if you have experience selling some of these brands that I clearly knew nothing about. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, especially if you're still here. And if you are still here and you haven't hit that like button, definitely make sure that you hit that like button as well on your way out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.